Hello friends, this video on capacitors and capacitance part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 12 before going ahead with part 13. So let us look at problem 1. It asks, a slab of material of dielectric constant K has the same area as the plates of a parallel plate capacitor. Okay, so we have a parallel plate capacitor. It says that this parallel plate capacitor has a slab of dielectric constant K which has the same area as that of the plates. That means if the plates have area A, this slab also has area A. But has a thickness 3 by 4 the distance between the separation of the plates. That means if this distance is D, then this distance is 3 by 4 D. Okay. How is the capacitance changed when the slab is inserted between the plates? Okay. So initially before the slab is introduced, the capacitance is equal to A epsilon naught by D. Now let us suppose the dielectric slab is introduced. So after the dielectric slab is introduced, the new capacitance becomes equal to A epsilon naught divided by D minus T plus T by K. Right? So this can be written as A epsilon naught divided by D minus T is the thickness of the dielectric slab which is equal to 3 by 4 D plus 3 by 4 D divided by K. So this becomes equal to A epsilon naught divided by D plus 3 D. So this becomes equal to D by 4 plus 3 D by 4 K. Right? Now this can be written as, let us calculate it on this side. Now this can be written as A epsilon naught divided by, we can take D by 4 common. So this is 1 plus 3 by K. So this in turn can again be written as 4 A epsilon naught divided by D into 1 plus 3 by K. Now we have to give the value of this capacitance only in terms of the values which are given in the problem. That is it has to be given in terms of K and 3 by 4 D. So we can say that this capacitance becomes equal to what is this A epsilon naught by D? A epsilon naught by D is nothing but the old capacitance. So this can be written as 4 C naught divided by 1 plus 3 by K. Now this can be written as 4 C naught divided by K plus 3 into K. Therefore the new capacitance C becomes equal to 4 into K divided by K plus 3 times the previous capacitance. So it looks simple, right? Okay. Now let us look at the next problem. It says a dielectric slab of thickness 1 cm and dielectric constant 5 is placed between the plates of a parallel plate capacitor of plate area 0.01 meter square and separation 2 cm. So what are the values that are given in this problem? It says dielectric slab of thickness 1 cm of dielectric constant K is equal to 5. Placed between the plates of a capacitor of plate area A is equal to 0.01 meter square and separation that is D is equal to 2 centimeters that is 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. This is also 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. Now we have to calculate the change in capacity on introduction of dielectric. So first we will calculate the capacitance without introduction of dielectric. Then we will calculate the capacitance on introduction of the dielectric and we will then find out the change. So let us suppose this is my parallel plate capacitor and a dielectric slab is introduced this way. So we already know what happens when a dielectric slab is introduced. So let us first consider before. What happens in the before scenario? Before any slab is introduced, 
your capacitance is equal to a epsilon naught by d right so what is a a is 0 0.01 epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 and d is 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 so this value comes out to be 4.425 into 10 to the power minus 12 farads so this is the capacity of the capacitor when no slab is introduced now let us suppose that a dielectric slab is introduced so dielectric slab is introduced so if dielectric slab is introduced what will be the capacitance capacitance will be given by a epsilon naught divided by d minus t plus t by k see these formula you might be thinking that it is so difficult to remember so many formula even if you don't remember the formula you can solve it the way we derived this formula you have to calculate the potential difference between the plates and then put the values and find out but to make things simple and easier many a times it becomes worthy to remember the formulas for example in this case if you want if if all of us have understood the logic how to solve it you can directly solve it like that but then that will take or that will consume more of your time so this will be a is nothing but 0 0.01 epsilon naught is again 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by d is 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 minus t is 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 plus 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by k that is 5 now when you calculate this you get the value as 7.375 into 10 to the power minus 12 farads so this is the capacitance of the capacitor when the dielectric slab is introduced therefore the change in capacitance is equal to c minus c naught so that becomes 7. 375 minus 4.425 into 10 to the power minus 12 farads. So this comes out to be 2.95 into 10 to the power minus 12 farads. So this is the change in capacitance on introduction of the dielectric. Now the second half of the question asks what would be the change if the dielectric slab were conducting. So instead of dielectric slab if a conducting slab were introduced then what would have been the change. Now we have already calculated the value of the capacitance before any slab is introduced that is equal to this. Now let us calculate the capacitance if a conducting slab is introduced. So if a conducting slab of the same thickness was introduced then this capacitance would have been equal to a epsilon naught divided by d minus t where t is the thickness of the conducting slab. So a will be 0 0.01 into 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by d is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 minus t is 1 into 10 to the power minus 2. So this value comes out to be 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 farads. So this is the value of capacitance if a conducting slab is introduced between the plates. So in this case what would have been the change in capacitance? The change in capacitance will be given by C dash minus C naught. So that is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 minus 4.425 into 10 to the power minus 12. So this comes out to be 4.425 into 10 to the power minus 12 farads. Right? So this is how we solve problems related to capacitors. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.